I'm about to embark on some projects that require me to do some welding. So I invested in a TIG welder. Well, I just finished sharpening all of my tungsten uh, using this little gadget that I picked up. This one here, this unit here, came from China. But you can see, it did a really good job. So I've got it hooked up here to my digital microscope. If you guys haven't picked one of these units up, John Saunders did a really good video a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was a different model than this, but I went on Amazon and found this one. It was $77, and I'm using it to look at uh, all sorts of things from my part finish, end mills, and uh, now I'm checking out the grind on my tungsten. Uh, you can see it gets a really good image there, and you can see uh, how well it did sharpening uh, the tungsten. So, if you're interested in one of those, I'll post the link in the video description for this little digital microscope. So I picked up this little unit to go on the end of my Dremel to sharpen my tungsten. Now this particular model uh, came from China. It's made out of Delrin, but they also make them out of aluminum. And there's, there's a lot of different varieties. I really didn't know which one to choose, but this one was fairly inexpensive and it came with five of these diamond discs, so I thought we'll give this a try. It's not really something that would be too difficult to make should I choose to make one. However, this was so cheap uh, that I just figured my time was more valuable than trying to make one of these. So there were a few problems with this unit uh, as soon as I got it. First of all, it didn't seat all the way, it didn't screw all the way down to seat, and so I thought that might be kind of difficult to get the height of my diamond wheel. So I stuck it in the lathe and just kind of cleared out a little bit of room there for the shoulder because the Dremel tool has this little shoulder where the threads stop right there. I just wanted to clear the delrin out so it would kind of seat up against this. So wasn't a big deal. Uh, luckily for me, I have a, a lathe and I can do that. So now it seats up nice and tight and then when I go to uh, stick in the the wheel will be at the correct height. They have, they give you four of these little set screws here for different thickness of tungsten. We have 40 thousand, 16, 3 30 seconds, and eighth of an inch. And then there's four, also four different angles. So whichever angle you choose to grind your tungsten at, you can just simply take the set screw out and stick it in that angle. So what I did was I wanted, I've got 3 30 seconds tungsten, and I wanted to grind it at 15 degrees. So I just moved the set screw over and started my grind. Let me see if I can show you here. Now I've never ground tungsten before, and tungsten is pretty hard stuff and it gets very hot. You can kind of see how it goes in there hopefully. And so what I did was I started off at this one even though this bushing is not the right height. I started off here to get a just get the grind started and then I moved it over to this one. I did that for a couple of reasons. Uh, these little bushings they get hot uh, tungsten generates a lot of heat and so the grinding process and all that heat will heat up your little brass fitting uh, brass set screws or guide bushings and because this is plastic Delrin uh, I guess it could melt and then you know you pretty much ruin this little jig so I think that's one of the drawbacks to using these uh, Delrin jigs but I didn't have any problem with these 10 however I like I said moved it from one to the other now notice hopefully you can see this on the camera here try to get a view of this but you can see right there where it's real shiny there's no diamond left on this wheel and it's just for this mm, not even a, maybe a fourth of the disc there so I don't really know what's going on uh, I'm thinking that the disc is not quite uh, horizontal or perpendicular to this uh, guide bushing. 
and so it's not spinning at a, a nice level plane. So this disc will have to be flipped over. So I got 10 sharpenings out of this one disc and they say that you can get a hundred out of uh, the disc. So uh, we'll have to may just be a faulty disc or something or it could be something with this whole setup I don't know yet we'll have to see uh, does it work obviously you can see in the video uh, it does a really good job of sharpening uh, was it worth the money uh, I'm gonna say yes because if I would have used my grinder I would have to buy a, uh, a, a different kind of grinding wheel to sharpen the tungsten and then you don't want to contaminate it by sharpening something else on that same grinding wheel so this will just be set up just for tungsten and uh, that way I don't have to worry about any kind of cross contamination or anything and seems to do the trick really well it took me about five minutes or so to sharpen these ten uh, I did it I didn't have to pause or stop although these do get very hot so for those of you who have thought about these but never picked any of these up. I'll post the link in the video description where you can grab one of these. Uh, there are several different models and they range anywhere from uh, like $40, $30 to $80. It just depends on which brand you get. And some of them have different features. This one has the cut off, cut off uh, spot right here. So you can stick your tungsten in there and trim it off if you've got some bad contaminated tungsten there you want to start fresh which is a nice little feature and it has the different angles I'm so new to TIG welding that I don't really even know what angle I'm going to start with I just started with the 15 so uh, as a general guide and we'll see I think it's a personal preference and it depends on the size of your tungsten so Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in one of these little sharpeners, I'll post a link in the video description where I picked this one up. Uh, like I said, there are several ones out there, so shop around, see which one you like. Uh, you can see it does a really good job on sharpening the tungsten, so I'm very happy with the $30 or whatever it, it was that I spent for this. It's going to get me going TIG welding a lot quicker than having to try to hand sharpen these. So, Thanks for watching guys. If you're new to my channel and you're interested in the video content, click on the subscribe button anytime I post a new video. They'll send you an email, and if it looks like something you're interested in, you'll have the opportunity to watch it. Please subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.